Welcome everybody. Today we go over the infamous Game Genie glitch technique. This creates all kinds of impossible combinations using the black hole, using a very specific little thing. So basically what we have here are clown cars in clown cars. We have clown cars in clouds. We have strange combinations. You have to just watch the video to see what I'm talking about. Be sure to like the video. It helps out the algorithm and pushes it out to more people. Without further ado, let's dive in. Today we're gonna to go over what people call the Game Genie technique. In order to do this, first we have to create a black hole. So I'm gonna create a black hole using a method we've used before, and then I'm gonna make a savable black hole with thwomps. So to create a black hole, you put a track down, put a claw in the track, put a hammer bro down, undraw the track, make the hammer bro big, start, stop, undo two times, and now we have our sledge bro black hole to create a real black hole with them you have to copy him 45 times so let's go ahead and do that once you have the sledge bro copied 45 times or more now we're going to make it savable so i draw a track like this and i place it right in that spot i grab a big old thwomp make him humongous put him on the track Copy him onto the track like that. And now I'm going to undo three times. Now I multi-select the thwomp. Drag him away from the sledge bros. I can delete the sledge bros like that because we don't need him anymore. We're going to separate these two thwomps. And the one that has the arrow facing left is our black hole. The other one we can delete. This track we're going to keep there for savability. Here's our black hole. Now we're going to copy him 50 times. And we have our savable black hole. Copy the top side of him so he doesn't expand all the way down into the lava. So this is the savable black hole. I'm going to stack him up a little bit just so he's a little bit more condensed. There we are. So this is our black hole, the thwomp. Let's draw some ground, cause why not? So how you do this game genie technique is you can use any container, so a pipe, a clown car, a claw, a track, it all works. For instance, we're going to grab a Lakitu cloud dude. Draw him down, empty him, copy him. Now we're going to put whatever item we want to get all glitchy, we're going to put in the left cloud. So let's say we use a Shelmet. Put the Shelmet in the left cloud, then delete the left cloud. Copy the right cloud over into the black hole. Then we undo twice. This cloud's going to appear. Now we're going to drag the cloud out of the thwomp like that. Now we choose the second container to use. So let's say we use a pipe. Drop the pipe down. Drag the shell into the pipe and delete the bottom left cloud. Now we copy the top left cloud. We can delete everything else because that's not needed anymore. And this is our glitchy item. This is a shell, a buzzy beetle shell that's in a cloud that thinks it's in a pipe. So as you see, it kind of pops out of a pipe. It still has the cloud on it. We can throw it around like normal. We can put it on and then it kind of just creates another one. It's gonna come out of an invisible pipe every single time and it's going to wear the cloud. There's many different ways that you can use this glitch. There's many different combinations that you can have with it. You can use any container and any item, which makes it pretty crazy. Here we have the same combination the cloud into the pipe, but this time we used a green flying turtle. He's going to pop out of the invisible pipe and start jumping around while he's inside of the cloud. And I can grab the shell and throw it and he's still inside of this cloud. Which is pretty interesting. Using the Game Genie glitch technique, we now have a pal, a winged pal that's in a clown car that's also in a sideways pipe. So the cool thing about this right here is when we grab a POW and try to throw it, it'll go right back into the clown car, which is very interesting. It could be very, very trolly in a level. I would imagine a level like this would get taken down pretty quickly, but it is uploadable. Here we have a big piranha with wings that's in a clown car that's also in an upside down pipe. The sprite looks kind of interesting, and if I hit it, Often, like this, it'll stay, quote-unquote, inside of its pipe, and then when I let it go for a little bit, it'll start to come out of the pipe. So the wings get really, really big, 
<laughs> the piranha gets really, really big. Everything gets all funky. This time we have a big Yoshi egg, the red one, that's in a clown car that thinks it's in a pipe. And when this item hits the ceiling, it will poof out of existence. So as soon as it hits the ceiling, as you'll see, it goes bye byes So this could create something really, really interesting. Like say for example, if it despawns right away, say if there's a block right here, It'll just kind of poof on either side consistently. So this could be something interesting where it's like, say, an antenna. Say if I take this, put that like right there. Now it's like an antenna or something like that. It's like an interesting little visual effect where there's an antenna. Or we could do something else. Where we have, like, shiny coins. Because the clown car never spawns, it creates those visual effects as if the clown car just poofs right away. Although, somebody playing the level would have no idea what's going on here. Here we have a sledge bro that's in a clown car that's in a sideways pipe. And you're going to see it kind of just laying on its back. Or I guess on its face. And then it wakes up. And as it sits in the clown car, it's not actually going to do anything. It just chills there. No hammers being thrown. And if I jump on him, he kind of just spins like that. And this is what tends to happen to enemies that get stuck in this glitch when they get jumped on. They just start spinning. Here we have a hammer bro that's in a claw that thinks it's in a pipe. So basically, it'll come up and every time we kill it, a new one will get created and get put in the claw. So this is an infinite claw here. Here we have a coin that's in a cloud that thinks it's in a pipe. I put a regular pipe behind it just so that it adds some effect. This looks cooler than it just kind of popping out of thin air. Look at all the clouds that it throws out though. This is very interesting. And they kind of just bounce along. And the clouds are usable, by the way. This is amazing. Now I'm going to show you how you can put a clown car into a clown car. Draw a track and then copy it. Throw an enemy inside of it like that. Delete it. Copy it over here onto the thwomp, undo twice, drag this track out of there, throw down a clown car, drag the enemy into the clown car. Now anything you put on this track is going to get put in the, to the clown car as well. So I'm going to take a clown car and drag it onto the track right here and you see a clown car and a clown car. Now I can delete these three tracks because we don't need them anymore. When I start the scene, you're going to notice that there's a clown car inside of a clown car. If I jump onto the top clown car, I actually die. It acts as a saw blade or something like that, so you can't actually use it. We're going to load and then back out of that because it tends to prevent crashing, which is really nice. Because when you play around with these glitches, the game crashes all the dang time. So now what we're going to do is put the clown car that's in a clown car and make it think that it's in a pipe. Let's draw a normal clown car, then delete it. Then copy this whole Mama Jama right into the... The thwomp, undo twice. You see we only have one clown car in here now. I drag that out of there. And now it has two in it. Place down a pipe. Take this top clown car, drag it into the pipe, delete the bottom one, and then copy the top left one. And you'll see we have two clown cars yet again, except this time these clown cars think that they're in a pipe. And when it pops out of the pipe, it's going to be a tiny clown car. Look at the tiny clown car. And then it's going to wake up. And now it's a big clown car. And this time it won't actually damage us. <gasps> we can go in it. I figured it out. I didn't think you could actually get in that clown car that's inside of the clown car. But apparently you can get in the clown car that's inside of the clown car. You just need to bounce around a little bit. <gasps> we did it again. You can't spin jump out of it. So you can jump into the clown car that thinks it's in a clown car that thinks it's in a pipe. So I put a big clown car into a clown car. But the only problem with this one is you can't actually start it. It will not spawn. Because apparently this big clown car is too big to fit into the small clown car. Using the previous glitch, we can also put a winged block inside of a pipe. <laughs> this time we have a clown car that's inside of a cloud that thinks it's inside of a pipe. So when I start the scene, it's going to struggle to come out and then it pops up. The cloud almost acts as a sensor in this case. And it doesn't really do too much. It's more of just cool design. Clown car is usable as normal. 